Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Natalia. For today's video, I'm going to have some sprint DIY. I hope you enjoy this video. For my first DIY, I'm going to make a moss sphere decor. And for this, I'm going to use this styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree, a little bit of matte patch and moss. What I'm doing here is just adding the matte patch and trying to press hard the moss into the mold so that way it can stay in place. Once the sphere is dry, now I'm gonna use my scissors and gonna, I'm gonna trim each one. For my next DIY, I'm gonna repurpose this beautiful glass vase. I love the shape of it. Uh, I'm gonna change the color. Uh, I don't like this at uh, the purple one, so I'm gonna use my white chalk paint and I'm gonna create a texture by using sand, a little bit of baking soda. My purpose is to create a coarse texture. Now I'm giving the second coat of the texture. At the end, I'm gonna seal with my spray and you will see how it looks. Next, I'm gonna reuse this terracotta pad and also this is coming from a woman, a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use it into the pad, but first I'm gonna give it a coat of white chalk paint.
Now I'm gonna start making the planter, but first I'm gonna add a little bit of stir foam. Then I'm gonna use a foliage that I got from the Dollar Tree and some of, from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I'm gonna repurpose this uh, drawer that I came from an old furniture. This is a mahogany wood, which is reddish. And I know this kind of wood uh, bleeds once you put paint on it. So what I did is I was trying to apply the easy off and this is how it came out. But still, when I apply my white chalk paint, it started bleeding, which I decided to use my white paint as a primer and then I apply a, a green color that was the mix of two different greens and I'm going to show you how it came out. Now that the drawer is dry, I'm going to add the naps I painted on gold. Now I'm going to add inside a little piece of this beautiful wallpaper that I got from Amazon. Now I'm going to reduce these uh, mini wooden sticks from the Hobby Lobby. I painted it in gold and I'm going to use it for my uh, drawer. This is another easy DIY. This is a glass bowl that I got from Dollar Tree and this is a small one as well. It came in a packet of four. So I'm gonna use one and I'm gonna join together by using this glue from Dollar Tree. I just wanna apologize. I didn't record it when I did it, so this is how it came out. And after that, I'm gonna use my spray in gold. Next, I'm going to reuse my water decay that I use for my fall decor. I'm going to exchange color by using my green spray. 
But first, I'm going to show you how I seal this uh, beautiful vase. You can tell the coarse texture. I think it looks so pretty for the spring decor. I'm going to seal with my clear spray. Now I'm going to paint the bowl by using this um, rust -Oleum gold paint. Once it's dry, I'm going to use one of those uh, decals that I had in my stash with the word garden. Next, I'm going to repurpose this saucer terracotta that I DIY a long time ago and a piece of chicken wire that I had in my stash. I'm planning to make a wire clutch. This is my first time, so I hope it goes well. For this, I'm going to use the glove since this uh, wire is very pointy and here I'm trying to give it the, the shape of the cloche and also unjoin the little pieces of wire together. I'm going to glue this wooden nap on top of the cloche. Now I'm going to add or glue this mini pad as a writer. I want the wire cloche to look rustic and for this I'm going to use my Waverly Antique Color. Okay friends, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for having the time to watch it. I hope you get some inspiration for my spring DIYs. Thank you very much and I see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.